Hello YouTube, Oliver here, and I'm going to show you how to strip down your Truma heating system in your caravan. And this one has gas and electric. So this is really important that you don't skip this part of the video uh, because this is some of the safety stuff. Please ensure that the caravan is not plugged into the electrics, for starters. Secondly, you need to make sure that the gas is turned off at the bottle and turned off at the, the valve by the bottle and you need to burn the gas through on your hob. I set no responsibility for any injury or anything like that. So um, this is sort of um, for educational purposes only. If you are gonna attempt this yourself, um, make sure that you get a qualified gas engineer to check your work afterwards. Luckily for me, the brother-in-law um, is gonna check the, my, my work afterwards. Anyway, let's get to it. First thing we're gonna do is remove the cover. Okay, it's nice and easy. You lift up, he says. Should pull out. Now the gas setting should just pull out as you lift this out. And this, I wouldn't bother unplugging it, okay? Just leave that how it is and we'll just move it to one side. Then with this wire, again, we're just going to take it out of these areas here and just try and move this out of out, out of the way. So the part we're going to try and get to is the electric element at the back because we need to check it. Now, any, the, unfortunately, we need to remove the gas element of this um, heating system first. And when you're undoing this, which is the exhaust duct, you need to replace the red seal inside. And this is really important, otherwise you'll introduce carbon monoxide. Also, ensure that you have a working carbon monoxide um, sensor in your caravan. This is extremely important. Don't take any risks on this. This has actually saved us before because this seal here has actually failed. So it's a good job that I am taking this out. Um, a, to fix that, but B, to replace that seal. So anyway. There's the wheel there. And we're just going to go underneath the caravan and find where the gas goes in. You're going to disconnect it there. Now... I'm not actually going to show you how to do this because if you don't know how to do this, you really shouldn't be working on gas. What I'd recommend is getting a friend or a family member who is a gas engineer to do this part for you. Next thing we're going to do is remove this here and just get rid of the duct, okay? Whilst it's in situ. You can do it after you've undone them, but it's easier to do it this way around. Yeah, just looking in, there's some debris there we need to get rid of. Um, shouldn't be in there. I assume that's from the flue itself. And then, yeah, we're going to replace all this anyway. Next, we're just going to remove all these screws. You should be able to just lift it out. This is what the area should look like. Uh, now it's out. So you've got your... Um, thermostats which sometimes can break um, and you've got your heat, electric heating element there and you've got the floor so now we're on the back of it i'm just going to show you a couple of things so if we do any of this make sure your fuse is all right also that butterfly connection there make sure that's pushed in make sure all these are pushed in and obviously if it still doesn't work then um then we're gonna have to keep going a bit further next we're just going to remove this cable here, put that somewhere safe. So I'm going to remove this fan to give us access down to the PCB down below. Now I'll go around and remove the screws around here. I like to leave the top one in till last because it's the most accessible um, and then just do the other ones. I've taken off that bit of ducting, just pulled it out and now we should have access to the, uh, the PCB now. Um, it's held in by two screws by the looks. And then we might have to undo these outer ones as well uh, to get the free off the heating element. After undoing the top ones, uh, this then comes out. I don't know if that's exactly necessary, but we we'll roll with it. Uh, and then it's just the final ones uh, around the back to do. Also got these ones at the front. 
So we'll undo them and then hopefully it'll pull out. So that should now just come out, should be nice. And then we'll have access to the PCB at the back. So luckily these are labeled green, white, black, red, black, blue. Um, and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tape the first black wire um, so I know which one's put in there. And to release them, all you do is they do feel a bit loose, these little toggles, all right? But to release them, just press it down and pull up on the cable itself. Um, obviously it's two hands, so I can't demonstrate that currently. So I've unplugged it all. Um, it's probably worth taking a photo before you do this. And um, yeah, we're just gonna try and remove this now. All right, okay, so it sort of takes the mick a bit. Um, <laughs> I've been struggling with this. Turns out you just depress, unscrew this from the PCB, push these down, should just push out like so. Sweet, so that's it now out. Um, all I'm gonna do is probably just buy a replacement um, of this. However, you can go in it. Might even just diagnose it further now. I'm at that point where I'm just gonna um, check to see what's actually broken. Might save a couple of quid. This bottom bit, it's quite simple. Just unscrew that. It should just pull out of that sort of bit there. We can have a better look inside. And hey presto, looks like we found the problem. This is completely knackered over time so cheap fix for me thank god uh, i think the heating elements are right i will do uh test it with the flute just to double check um but yeah that's the issue there it's one of these uh it's gone so i'll just replace both of them and clean that up with some contact spray put all this back together and then we'll, we'll be good so thank you so much for watching uh please like and subscribe if you've got any questions put them in the comments um we are a family of six we use this fan quite a lot a lot of stuff breaks so you can either follow the adventures or you can look at all of our repairs but anyway thanks again for watching we'll see you on the next one